Today on Rare Spirits in Gear, we check out the Thomas Pridge and Drum Sample Library from Mixwave. Thomas Pridgen is a very celebrated drummer within the drumming community. If you're not a drummer, don't beat yourself up too bad that you may have not heard his name. However, musician folk, myself included, tend to go <gasps> when you mention Thomas Pridgen. He is most notably played with uh, Mars Volta, but he's done a ton of session work and has also played with Draft Tongue, Draft Tongue Orchestra, Trash Talk, Jada Pinkett Smith, He's, he's the guy. Like, within the drum community, Thomas Pridgen is the dude. Now, before we go any further, Mixwave have asked me to show you guys this sample library. They have not paid me. They have just simply provided the sample pack for me to show you. But all thoughts and opinions are mine. So in a world that is packed with really, really good-sounding drum sample libraries, why should you pay attention to the Thomas Pridgen drum sample library. Well, for one, they were engineered by Terry Larson and his drums sound really good. Also, for me, uh, there's a couple of bells and whistles in this particular pack that a lot of others do not have. They give you some flexibility, they give you some options that I like because depending on the situation that I'm using these drums in, I may want different things. So we will nerd out and deep dive the Thomas Pridgen drum sample library in just a second, but here's how they sound like in a mix, and these drums are completely not processed. Okay, so I am in Logic. I have the Thomas Pridgen drum sample library open. You see Thomas's kit. Now, on the snare side, we have a couple of different snares to choose from. By default, the signature snare is loaded, but we also have pop, big, and edge, which we will hear in a second. Now, the toms, these are the toms. There aren't any alternate tom sounds. Honestly, I wouldn't want any other tom sounds. These sound incredible. love the attack of those anyways we have a ton of different symbols also we have the spiral thingy that's a technical term that's uh, that's what the symbols called is the spiral thingy so good it sounds so good anyways the tune that you just heard in the full mix let's go in here anyway i'm getting away to hand myself L so i am in logic so I am in Logic, I have the Thomas Pridgen drums brought up. The mix you just heard was obviously with guitar, bass, and drums. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and hear the Nakey drums. There's one thing going on, which we'll get to in a second, that I'm doing to the kick drum. But other than that, there's no processing on these drums. Pretty crazy. Killer sounding. Now, the one thing I am doing to these drums, because this is a faster tempo song, is I am using uh, an SSL channel strip to kind of carve out a little bit of the low end of the kick because I get some buildup with the faster uh, punk rock beat. Um, if this were a more mid-tempo song, I wouldn't be doing this, but I just thought I would note what you're hearing is a slight low end carve out with the kick drum. Otherwise, that's it. This is the Nakey drums. So let's dive into the drums. We have Thomas's kit. We have a couple of different snares. We, uh, by default, it loads the signature. Let's go ahead and hear these other snares in the context of that same beat. First, we'll go with the pop snare. Pretty good. 
I like that. Let's go to the big snare. This is not really meant for like a fast kind of a thing, but we're gonna listen to it anyway. And lastly, we have the edge snare. This is a really, really cool uh, alternative to what we've heard previous. I like the snare a lot. If I had to pick just one, I would probably pick the signature snare. It just, it works so well within the context of the rest of the kit. Just lovely. So you've heard the kit. Let's go into the drum section. Now we are met with a, a bunch of bells and whistles. On the right hand side, we have our master room and overhead faders, and then we have the shells. So then we'll click on the symbols, and then we have obviously, as the button would pertain to, the symbols, which we still have the master room and overhead on the right hand side. Then we have the settings and then we have the about. So let's go back to the drums down here. Let's see, I can, there is an explanation here. Let's go info. So if I, if I mouse over these individual things, I get an explanation in contact. Uh, these are submix channel volumes down here. We also have envelopes for uh, gating and things like that. We can tune the drums depending on the song. Maybe we will want to tune up or down if you're using a lower tuned you know, guitar or whatever. Uh, we have mix, which toggles between the mixed and unmixed samples for the selected channel. And then we have the boost, and this toggles an additional drum trigger sample on top of that. So we can turn everything off. I have these on for the snare and for the kick. So if I go over and select the kick, both of these are on, I can turn these off and then I can select over onto the, oh, okay, now I'm on this kick, my bad. I have them on the kick, go over to the snare, they're off on the snare, I can turn them on again if I want. Same with the rack tom. I don't have both on the toms, I just have the initial um, uh, unmixed samples, mixed and unmixed samples. Together, I do not have the boost on the toms. I just didn't think they needed it. Uh, also, we have snare reverb, snare shimmer, and tom reverb. This is awesome. I will also note that I'm using all of the reverb inside the Thomas Pridgen drums. I have turned off all of my sends to my normal auxiliary reverbs, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with these for a second. I'm gonna play back this beat and I'm just gonna twist some knobs and see uh, see what we get. Right now, I am messing with the room mics. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the fader instead of muting. I'm actually gonna uh, put the fader down and then blend in the amount of room that I want. I'm gonna put the snare uh, reverb back where I had it, roughly. I'm gonna leave the shimmer pretty high on the snare. I really like how that sounds. I'm gonna start with the room down, and then I'm gonna add all of the sauce, all the spaghetti sauce on the drums. Yeah, I said spaghetti sauce on the drums. I'm gonna add that in with the room fader. Here we go. I love, I just love how saucy these things are. Now, over here on the master fader, you will notice we have um, a compressor, we have some EQ, and then we have some tape. I have the EQ and compressor engaged. I do not have the tape engaged. Let's hear that, and I'm gonna play with these buttons as well. You 
sound so good and huge and tight and percussive. Well, I would expect them to sound percussive because of drums. Anyway, I don't, that didn't really make any sense. So let's go back to, let's see, let's scroll down here. Let's go. So now we have symbols. We have total control of our symbols, stack, mini stack, mini hat, splash, ride, hi hat, and clap stack as well. Finally, our settings, our MIDI mapping. Now, currently I have these mapped to just what I, whatever I was feeling to kind of go um, with some get good mapping that I had previously. However, in the presets, we have general MIDI, easy drummer, superior, BFD, and addictive drum mapping built in. So that's a seamless integration as well. You can also save your own mapping, which is what I have done. You can also load your own MIDI maps and save your own MIDI maps out of this for use with other kits as well. Pretty cool, lots of options. I love the clean interface. It just sounds snappy. And I, the less work and less time I have to spend on the drums, the better. I literally fired these up and I was like, okay, well, here we go. If you would like more info on all things Thomas Pridgen drums from Mixwave, I will link down below in the description. At the time of this filming, these typically go for $139, but right now uh, I think they're on a sale for $119-ish. I don't know how long that sale uh, will last. I believe that's an introductory sale, but yeah, very, very nice, very good alternative to the other standard you know, uh, options and flavors out there like Slate, TuneTrack, and Get Good. Definitely check out Thomas Pridgen Drums if you are in the market for some gnarly sounding drums. I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.